Welcome to Mortar! Land of brasses and pulp. Yes. Welcome, Reaper Mini fans. Today we have a whole. Well, a whole unit of giant cobras. Now, as you can see, there's a lot there to be painted. What I've done, I have started and I've stuck all the cobras onto a base boss, two inch base. And what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go through all these and I'm going to show you how to quickly paint this full unit in a day. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have some sand from the beach and I am going to base all these giant snakes with the sand uh, using some PVA glue and that will be the first task and once that's dry the next stage is I'll give all the snakes a base coat with a yellow a yellow brown primer and that'll be the basis and the start to get these miniatures done very very simple paint but looks very effective once finished so I've added a nice primer coat to all these miniatures. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to show you how to paint the one cobra, how I would paint it, and then I'll get all the rest painted as well as. So I'll come back once I've set up my table, ready to show you how I'm going to paint the giant cobra. Okay then, for the cobra, I'm just going to use some saddle brown for now. And it's very simple. What I'm doing first is I'm just adding some stripes to the cobra so we're just going along freehand going around the cobra And what we're going to do is add some darker brown here. These will be for the eyes that you often see on cobras. So we'll be adding that on each side of the wings of the cobra. Very simple. And again, we'll add some more brown stripes along the body going around the miniature very simple quick and easy let's just have a steady hand to get those lines going across now the reason I'm using this brown is because what we'll do is go over the miniature with a brown ink wash. This will blend in all the scales and the skin together. But first of all we want to get all these stripes on all these giant covers. So there we are. Simple as that for now. What we're going to do is we're just going to take this around to the back of the mini. Just moving it around like so. And the same with this one. Taking that around so we got those rings going around the miniature. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a stripe to the top of the miniature. Just freehand, simple and easy. Just keep your hands steady and it's easy enough to do a simple stripe like so onto your miniature. So there we are. This will be done to all the miniatures. And I will come back and show you what's next. Okay, so what I've done, I've finished all the miniatures with different colours. I've gone for a dark brown, a red, and another of the browns for each 
one of these miniatures just to give a bit of variation and to show you what it looks like on each one with the different colors now what I've done is on every single one I went and painted on those eyes that I added so we've got the eyes and I've added some skeleton bone to each of those eyes under the wings of the giant cobra like so next stage now is we start giving all the body the complete uh, cobra an ink wash um, either using a brown or black ink now what I've done just to jump ahead of ourselves is I've already uh, ink washed three of the giant cobras so what I'll do is I'll show you those now so there's the one in red this is with the ink wash added here's another one with the brown this has got um, a, a brown ink wash and the eyes and then last but not least we've got the one with the dark brown the dark brown added to the cobra and this has got a black ink wash just to show you the different variations and how they look once they're done now what I've done is I've added the ink wash and then using the cotton but taking the ink wash off the places where the white shows so it looks a bit more realistic so there we are this is what the minis will look like once they've all been added a wash to all the miniatures okay coming along super well now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the eyes painted in what I'm going to use for the eyes is I'm going to put some dragon white into the eye sockets there and then I'm going to cover those with a nice bright green ink wash and that will make those eyes go glowy be very nice um, all the rims I will be painting black just to trim them off now to finish off the miniature um, because it's snakeskin, I am going to be going with a Satin Varnish by Valeco. Now this will give the skin a little bit of a shine and it will bring out the colours underneath. So those reds and those browns, they will just come out a little bit more and it will look very nice. So what I'll do is I'm going to finish off these miniatures now and I'll come back and show you the completed mini. So here are the finished giant cobras. They've all had their varnish added. This is the Satin Varnish and it's just giving it a little bit more shine to the skin of each giant cobra all the eyes have been done i've added a little bit of flock into each base just a tiny bit of grass to each one of the sandy bases and finish the rims so there we are this is a super simple way to get some giant cobras ready for your tabletop games if you enjoy what i'm doing then please hit that sub button if you want to support the channel then please become my patron all patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos so until next time